this is Chicho. welcome to my channel now what I'd like to do in this video is uh, give you a rundown of the comic books that we're gonna read for um, a comic book reading set number four and as you recall we put out um, two videos um, as sort of the intro uh, to that reading set the first video was me uh, going through the comic books that I pulled out uh, on my collection when I was going through the collection and um, it was basically 16 comic books that I picked so the first video is my choice of 16 comic books that I came across um, that I really wanted to read or reread right and then in the second video what we did was because it was a box and a half of comic books left um, that would would have been fun to read right um we sort of put out another video where it was viewers choice right uh, a subscriber's choice whatever you wanted to uh read you sort of you know i asked people to comment on that video and you know people would vote it up and the top um the top 16 um i went through and i read all the comments and i picked the top 16 from that right so for this reading set we have 32 books that we're going to read 16 that i picked and 16 that you chose and i sort of went into detail in the first video of um, why i picked the 16 that i did uh, my choice right for the 16 that you've chosen i'm about to go through this right now sort of organize it here um we'll leave the history and the why they're good books or who's behind them and stuff like this for the reading sets themselves so i'm not going to go through um commenting on all these com comics not too much anyway uh, because some of them i have to look up some of them i don't know the details that well some of them i do for sure uh, but i'd like to get you know do a little history so this is sort of my um, little project as well because every reading that we do i read the history behind the comics and who did them and stuff like this so it's sort of good exercise for me it's a learning tool for me as well right um, so we leave the history for that so let's um take a look at what you guys chose to read and basically this is the top uh 16 comments um that people posted and um, the way it worked out as far as the vote tally goes if people didn't uh, vote for a specific issue because there were people that were voting for um specific character like spider-man or punisher or valiant comics and stuff like this uh, what i did is give those votes to um, the issue that from that character uh, that had the highest number of votes okay so and the votes range from you know nine down to third uh, down to three three was sort of the threshold okay um, as far as one of the readings you guys chose I offered up uh, uh, the Grant Morrison's Doom Patrol two copies uh, two issues this is issue number 26 which is the first appearance of uh, brother of dada and um, first appearance of mr nobody and the first doom patrol grant morrison doom patrol uh you guys chose this one um or doom patrol was a choice and i think there were a couple of people said grant morris the first one so uh we're gonna read through this one the first grant morrison doom patrol um another one that got um what were the vote tallies on this um, I was surprised to see this actually um, but it was Ren and Stimpy and Ren and Stimpy got three votes and this is issue number one and we're gonna crack this open this is polybagged um, so we're gonna read Ren and Stimpy number one and I have you know I have the early issues of Ren and Stimpy um, all the way up to at least 10 anyway um, it was a serious phenomenon back in the 80s and rightfully so it was magnificent it's very if you've never watched uh, Ren and Stimpy uh, definitely well worth watching uh let's take a look now there were people uh, commenting about um war comics and specifically this one which is u.s tank command number one and we're gonna have a read through this and this is uh, i believe this is golden age of comics i bought this um in the last year anyway i showed you guys one of the comic book haul videos and this was part of it uh, plus another one here as well um so u.s tank command number one we're going to read let me pull this one out and one of the other ones we're going to read as i mentioned uh, amazing spider-man number 40 and i got 
two copies of this. Uh, this one is in way better shape than this one, so we're gonna read through the reader's copy, okay? So Amazing Spider-Man number 40. Uh, another one which was up there. Uh, as you know, well, I'll show you the readings that I that I chose, but I chose Exo Man of War number one, and I offered up Harbinger number one to read as well, right? Uh, and people picked uh, Harbinger number one. And for sure, we're gonna read through this. And I got the first uh, four issues here anyway. And I do have these uh, these comics into the either late teens or early 20s or so. Uh, now I offered up um, Alan Moore comics. Um, those are choices for V for Vendetta, Watchmen, uh, Alan Moore Swamp Thing, and V for Vendetta number one. Um, got uh, got the votes so we're definitely gonna read through this and as you know um, if you're watching some of the comic book videos and ASMR videos I did a uh, I had a request to do a whispering video and I did uh, whispering of Valerie's letter from V for Vendetta if you're um, if you're interested in that and it was it's a pretty important letter uh, it was a little different than the movie which surprised me I didn't um, you know, I didn't realize the letter were a little different. Uh, both powerful, both powerful. Now, another bunch of comics that were being upvoted uh, were gaming comics, and they happen to be Valiant. Um, so what we're going to do um, here, let me show you which ones were the choices. It was uh, Legend of Zelda, right? Uh, Captain N uh, Super Mario Brothers uh, this is number one and this is a later one there's another one we have here and Super Mario Brothers number two um, and the other two were these two uh, Super Mario Brothers number one the light is shining on Super Mario Brothers number one and Super Mario Brothers Special Edition number one. And I'm gonna look into this a little bit more. I believe this is the first issue that Valiant put out, first Valiant comic book. But I've come across some places saying it's this. So I'm gonna look this up, um, but I'm going by memory. I'm gonna say we're gonna read this one, but we'll look it up during the video as well. Uh, and I'll get a chance to look it up online as well. Uh, check a few other sources. Um, and whichever one is the first Valiant comic, we're gonna read that, okay. Another um, comic book that got uh, voted up was Teddy Roosevelt and the, um, and the Rough Riders, and his Rough Riders, number one. And this is the other one I bought with Tank Commandos, I think in the same batch comic book haul that I showed. Okay, so we'll have a read through this. Another one that surprised me uh, that got uploaded was uh, Samurai Jack, right? Um, this was a good series, right? Um, but they're really short reads. Uh, this is Samurai Jack number one. Um, this is number one, just a variant cover I bought. And this is uh, Samurai Jack number two. Uh, when we're doing the reading, if uh, number one goes by too quick, we might have a read through number two as well right uh, but they were very quick reads uh, let's see let's see okay um, definitely X-Men got some love and the one that got the highest number of votes for X-Men was first appearance of Gamut right Uncanny X-Men 266 so we'll have a read through this um, you know some people mentioned Wolverine I had Wolverine in there as well and uh, some old school X-Men as well, okay? Uh, but we'll read through um, Uncanny X-Men 266. Uh, can't go wrong with that. Now, another comic that, uh, uh, or character that got voted up was Punisher, okay? And I'm gonna be doing a Punisher read um, that I'll show you in, 
the second part of this video, what I chose uh, from the first video we put out. Uh, but people were just mentioning Punisher. So what I ended up doing, I mean, the choices were um, Punisher, the continuing series, uh, Punisher Warzone, <laughs> uh, Punisher Armory, which goes through his arsenal, uh, what he gets, and Punisher War Journal. Right. Um, but I decided to go, and I showed these two as well, which is, I'm going to take this off, um, Daredevil um, 257, okay. and the Punisher number 10. And I, I've had this for a while, and I read them long, long time ago, and I always assumed this was a two-parter. Um, but after looking it up, it's not a two-parter. What it is, is uh, it's a crossover where this one tells what happens based on Daredevil's perspective. And this one uh, tells you is the story of what happens from Punisher's perspective. So we'll have a read through this one, uh, Punisher number 10. Okay, um, it should be a good read. Love the cover, the cover is fantastic. <laughs> Beautiful cover. Okay. So that one we're going to read. Uh, another character for sure that uh, was getting a, a lot of attention uh, was uh, Batman. Batman the Cult. Okay. So. This is uh, Jim Starlin, Starlin uh, Bernie Wrightson. Uh, you can't go wrong with this. Now, we're not going to read all four. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to read uh, Batman the Cult number one. Okay. Um, I've read this a long time ago when it came out. Um, fantastic, fantastic little mini. Um, beautifully, beautifully illustrated. Fantastic story. Uh, now on that note, on the Batman uh, note, uh, people had um, people specifically chose Batman the Cult, but they also chose Batman. Um, and I didn't want to send the votes to Batman the Cult because Batman got enough votes to stand alone on itself, right? Uh, so I guess you guys left it up to me to choose which issue because there wasn't any specific issue so i was going between uh, batman 221 okay silver age batman uh, batman adventures number one uh polybag i was thinking about cracking this open okay uh, but i decided to go with this one spot star spangled comics um number 99 98 i can't remember um, I showed you guys this in one of the comic book hauls uh, that I did in the last year or so. And this one has one of the early appearances of Robin. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to read through um, the Robin storyline. It's, it's not specifically Batman, but it's Batman related. So I thought that'd be uh, fun to do. Um, and definitely look at a Golden Age story. Uh, it would be fantastic. Okay, so we're going to do that. Now, one series that I was surprised that got a lot of love was uh, uh, Excalibur. So what we're going to do, we're going to read Excalibur number one. And I loved this series from the, from the 1990s. Uh, I kept on reading this into the, into the 40s, I believe. Um, yeah, at least the 40s anyway. Because I have, uh, the choice was, uh, so this is Excalibur number one. This is the one we're going to read. I sort of got exposed to Excalibur through this. Um, but this is the first appearance of Excalibur. It's Excalibur Special Edition. Okay, so this, this predates number one. And then, you know, there was two and three, and the covers of Excalibur are fantastic. Look at this. <laughs> right. Fantastic series. Just pure fun. This is number um, three. Um, and this one was another one. Um, I might read this one off camera. Um, I remember I had fond memories from this, so I'm curious to see if it's, um, you know, stood the test of time, I guess, right? Um, so let's see, another, 
I just got a bunch of comic books that were getting a fair bit of love uh, were Valiant. So people were just stating Valiant specifically. And I, um, you know, I didn't move the votes up to Harbinger or the comic book uh, or the gaming videos because gaming videos are just gaming videos. It just happens to be Valiant that published them, right? Uh, but I didn't move the votes up to Harbinger because Harbinger got enough votes to go sort of above the threshold. Uh, so I decided to pick a Valiant comic to read. And we had a few different choices. Uh, Magnus Robot Fighter number 64, the last issue of the first series. Uh, the Acclaim uh, in the late 90s, I believe. I haven't read any of these yet. That was number one and two. Magnus number 12, first appearance of Turok. Magnus number zero. As you can tell, I really like Magnus. <laughs> uh, Magnus number one. Magnus is the only one from the early Valiants that I actually have a complete set. Okay. Um, we had Solar number three. It's the first appearance of uh, Toyo Harada, right? And Shadowman number one. Okay. Um, but in previous videos that I put out, people were mentioning that I should read a newer Valiant title from a relaunch. Uh, other than the Legends of the Geomaster that we did, uh, I got my hands on it. So we read the whole story arc because it's exclusive, you know, not available to retail, right? Um, so I narrowed it down to Divinity number one. Okay. Fantastic series. Divinity number two was actually better than this. Uh, very much looking forward to Divinity number three. Um, but I decided to read this Book of Death, Fall of Harbinger. And Book of Death, Fall of Harbinger, and Book of Death, Fall of Bloodshot. Uh, in my opinion, they're two of the most, two of the best standalone issues that have come around in a very, very long time. Both issues blew me away. Fall of Harbinger was more epic, so I decided to pick this one. Uh, I hope I'm not building it too much, um, but I really enjoyed it. And I've read it twice and I'll look forward to reading it again. Okay. And um, is this the last one? Let's take a look at this. We covered Spider-Man, Doom Patrol, V, Excalibur, Harbinger, Batman, Cold Rally, Gaming Comics, Samurai Jack, uh, Tank Commandos, Punisher, Ren and Stimpy, Batman, X-Men, X-Men 266, Teddy Roosevelt. And this is the other one that got chosen. And I'm very, very happy that uh, one of these got chosen. And he's, um, let me order this, right? So the one we're going to read is New Gods, number one, right? And I have two, two issues, two copies of this. One is slightly better than the other one, so we're going to read the, do the reader's copy, which is this one. So we're going to read New Gods, number one. And this is the first appearance of Orion. And this is Jack Kirby. And some people consider his work on New Gods. Let me put these guys here. New Gods, I'll show you. I do have all the New Gods. Um, and I pulled out these ones. So New Gods number one, we're gonna read. This is New Gods number two. That is the second full appearance of Dark Side. And then, you know, the rest are here and I have the rest in boxes. Uh, in my opinion as well, as Kirby's amazing, amazing uh, mind. Uh, firing on all cylinders right with new gods and forever people right and this is forever people number one and then number two number three number four and i have a full set and this one is the first full appearance of dark side right? and um jimmy olsen number 134 is the first full appearance of dark or first appearance of dark side is cameo um but it's in more than one panel i think if, if i recall correctly so um i think it's on a couple of pages possibly or it could be shadow i can't remember 
Oh, my memory serves me right. Uh, and this is the first appearance of Dark Side, and this is Jimmy Olsen, uh, 133 and 135 sandwiching that. Uh, so if one of these got picked, I was gonna, you know, we're gonna flip through. Um, but what we're gonna do is read New Gods number one. Um, we should be very, very good. Okay. Now, those are the comics that you guys chose. Um, thank you for your selections and fantastic choices. Okay. Um, as far as just a recap of what I chose, uh, if you want to, you know, a little bit more detail on why I chose these, you can take a look at the first video we'll put out, the introductory video we'll put out, which I do talk about a little bit of these. I just want to go through them. So we have one video uh, with a list of everything um, that we're going to read. Um, and that way, uh, you know, everything's in one place. And what I'm going to do is, um, in the past, what I've done is for each reading set towards the end of the video, I sort of have little images of the covers coming coming up um, and I annotate those. And if you click on those covers, it'll take you to those comics where you can take a look at them. You know, we talk about the history a little bit usually and, you know, have either have a flip through them, read through them or, you know, go from cover, front cover to back cover, right? Um, but for this reading set, I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, put on those images in at the end of each video. So what I'm going to do is provide the links in the description of all the videos. And when we get done, you know, I'll keep on adding the links in the description of this video. And when we get done, I'll, you know, copy and paste all that info to all the other videos. OK, so that's the way we're going to keep track of um, what's been read, and, you know, what's coming up and stuff like this. Um, so as far as uh, my choices, uh, we're concerned. I chose uh, Sandman number eight, Neil Gaiman, first appearance of death. Important character, important character. Uh, great character, great character. We're going to read uh, The Tick Special Edition, number one, first appearance of The Tick. <laughs> right. Fantastic. Um, been looking forward to reading this um, very much so. Um, as far as my Valiant, Valiant read is concerned, Exo Man of War number one, first appearance of Exo Man of War, right? Very good, very good. Um, this was a recommendation from uh, someone else that, you know, this would be a good book to read, and I ended up getting it at a convention. Uh, G.I. Joe number one and number two is behind it. Okay, thank you for the recommendation. After reading up on this, reading the history and some of the stories behind G.I. Joe number one, wow, I'm looking forward to you know reading this. I can't believe I didn't collect it right off the get-go. Uh, I guess I missed it on my radar, right? Um, one comic book we're gonna read is uh, one of my favorite comic books from the 1980s that really got me hooked into the mature nature of comic books to a certain degree and you know the different flavors they can have was flash number one right and this one is uh 1987 i think this is considered to be the second volume two if i recall correctly or volume no this is probably volume three okay so we're going to read through this fun stuff fun stuff we're going to read the world of jughead <laughs> and this is Neil Adams. I don't know if he did the work for all of it, but this is uh, Archie Giant series number nine. Okay. Um, it's the world drug head. The other choice I was thinking about reading was Archie uh, and Pals and Gals, but uh, I went with this one because this is Neil Adams, and I definitely want to take a look at this. Another book I chose to read that I haven't read yet was All-Star Western number 10. First appearance of Jonah Hex, right? Can't go wrong with this. It's a, you know, it's not in good shape, this issue, uh, but the story is intact, should be anyway. 
I'm making math videos. I came across this in my collection. How could I not, not read it? Donald Duck in Math Magic Land. And if uh, you've watched the animation, I'm pretty sure this is the animation was made after this. Uh, must have been, right? Um, so the animation is fantastic and I haven't flipped through this. So very much looking forward to flip through this or reading it anyway. Uh, this one I recently got this year and it's been eluding me for a long time and I ended up getting it on eBay for a pretty good price and it's in pretty good shape. Conan the Barbarian, number one. And I have the early issues, I just didn't have number one for some reason, right? I think it was just too expensive for me. Um, and back then when I was going buying back issues in the late 80s, early 90s, I pretty much paid the same price as I did now as I would have back then, right? Um, this is Barry Windsor Smith. And I know the history of this a little bit. Um, important comic, very important comic. Um, one thing I mentioned I would read because I started picking up some of these uh, these books was uh, love books. So we're gonna read, uh, you know, love stories, romance stuff. So we're gonna read Love Diary. I forget what issue number this is, uh, but we'll take a look at it. You know, there's a few that I, you know, that was in the selection. There was this one too. Uh, or a handful anyway new romances uh, but we'll read this one I love the cover of this beautiful love diaries now one comic um, one thing that was being upvoted but it just didn't get enough votes to be in the top 16 of your choices was crime comics but I did pick one you know there was a few that I that were up for offer right there's a whole bunch here uh, and uh, maybe we'll, we'll take a look at the covers of these definitely but what we're gonna do we're gonna read uh, crime does not pay number 116 and I chose this one um, because of this is Dillinger right John Herbert Dillinger take a look at this how could you turn down a John Dillinger wanted comic. Crime does not pay. Okay. Now there is four other, um, I think four other books that uh, I have, I chose um, for my choices for this reading set. One of them, um, Impact number three. Okay. And this is EC Comics, and I mentioned this before. Uh, guarantee we're going to do one EC comic book read per reading set and this is more on the humor side so far we've done uh, uh, we've done mainly sci-fi I think there was a couple of horror uh, horror short stories in there as well um, but they're basically sci-fi we've been reading so at some point we're gonna start reading horror as well um, another one that I chose was uh, Marvel preview presents number two and this is uh, I believe first solo Punisher story. Okay, um, I'll look it up again, and when we're flipping through it, and I believe this is the first appearance of uh, um, uh, Mockingbird, or I forget the character's name. The character becoming Mockingbird. Uh, my memory might not be serving me well. It could be in this one that Mockingbird appears in. Uh, I'm not 100 sure, but this is the one we're going to read. Punisher story. Uh, another book that we're going to read, put this guy here, is we're going to read something from Slain the Horn God. And I have all three comics here, three trades or prestige format, whatever you want to call it. And I have, for some reason, I have like a single issue one. Uh, I think I got this at like a used bookstore or something. Okay, but we're gonna read a few pages from Slain the Horn God, or we're gonna flip through it and read one or two pages here and there, mix it up. I haven't decided which pages yet or which arc, which part of it. Uh, this is this series is absolutely brilliant. It's Pat Mills and uh, Simon Bisley. Okay. Uh, 
another book we're going to read is we're going to read Daredevil number one. That was from my choice. And we have a video of this. I put a video of this framing this comic, right? It was one of the first comic book videos I put out. Um, so we're going to pop this out and have a read through it. And what I'm going to put in uh, in its place is I'm going to put this in its place. <laughs> Ruti Kazuti, right? I love this cover. It's a fun cover, right? So when we take this out and replace it with Ruti Kazuti, we're going to read Daredevil number one, first appearance of Daredevil. And the last book in my selection is the book that we're going to start off with. Okay. And as far as I'm concerned, uh, these few pages, I think there's like six, six, five, six, seven pages, are five, six, seven pages are some of the best five, seven, six, seven. I don't want to say the best, but they're extremely powerful. Uh, and they sort of show you the power of this medium, right? They blew me away when I read them, okay? And what we're gonna do, we're gonna read, I believe it's chapter six. I mean, if you have the book, uh, if you wanna look it up. Yeah, it's chapter six from a life force by will eisner okay and uh, the reason i'm starting with this is uh it's going to be very short but it is it is uh beautiful and i and i hope i'm not building this up too much um i get a little excited with some of this stuff right um so that's going to be my that was my last choice so that should be all 32 books that we're going to read for this reading set. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. And if I did, I'm going to put it in. Okay. Uh, I want to thank everyone for, you know, participating in the second video and voting up the comics um, and rec putting out your recommendations. I, I, it was awesome going through the comments and seeing what got voted up. And I'm pretty sure we're going to do this again for every reading set. I'll choose some, you guys choose some right um and just a heads up it might take a little bit of time to get the ball rolling on this because there's a few other videos that i still uh, hanging around that i want to get done um but once we get into the flow of things uh, we're probably going to do between you know probably have a reading done uploaded one every two to three days okay so basically means we're going to be doing you know favorite of comic book readings for the next three to four months right so the stuff coming up on the channel is going to be very comic book centric as well and i'm gonna mix in there uh some asmr math stuff and some other just a couple other random things that have been hanging around that i wanted to get done um i hope you enjoy um it should be a lot of fun it should be a lot of fun okay that's it for now i'll see you guys in the next video